everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you a couple of Christmas cards that I created. I have been having so much fun creating cards. Um, I have been just trying to create very simple cards. If you followed my last couple uploads, I've been talking about just creating um, really simple cards that you can send in the mail to your crafty friends or loved ones. So let me uh, go ahead and share with you guys the products that I use for today's card. I picked up this die and stamp set from AliExpress. All right, guys, here is the um, die set that I picked up. And it also came with some stamps. And so here is the stamps that I use there. You can't really see the sentiments there, but you'll get a chance to see those on my card and with um, these stamps as well. And it also had a die to go with this one. All right, so let me just jump in, guys. Here is the first card that I created here. This was so much fun, guys. It really didn't take much for these cards to come together. Um, and so what I did was I did some embossing on this piece here. And the embossing folder that I used was this one here. This is a old um, embossing folder, guys. Um, I've had in my stash for quite some time. As you can see, it has the inside there where you can add a sentiment across or something like that. All right, and then I um, used a stamp set that says, in the midst of all the presents, may you be in his presence. And I thought that was so very true. Um, because we can have all of the Christmas, you know, uh, gifts and things like that. But most important, at least in my book, is being in the presence of the Lord. And so I love that it had these little scissors. And these scissors are functional. There is a little piece where you can add a brad and um, kind of make those very um, functional. Again, I didn't think we, you know, I would need that. So I just, you know, kind of glued mine together. And then I have my little presents with the little tags there. Um, and just use some mirror cardstock to um, to bag this up. And this was out of the Recollection um, Christmas stack this year. And then in the inside, I added some vellum, guys. And I hadn't done anything else to the inside of that. Um, but I'll go back and add a sentiment whenever I decide to gift this card to someone. And card number two is this gorgeous card here, guys. Now... I have to tell you, this year I changed my Christmas tree and I have um, this wrapping paper here, guys. Um, and so when I decided to use this stamp set, I decided to go ahead and use the actual wrapping paper for this card. And so I really, really had fun with that, guys. So that wrapping paper is what I will be using to wrap all of my Christmas presents with. And so I thought it would be so fun. And I'm actually thinking about adding that to my December daily. So stay tuned for my December daily and I will be um, displaying that wrapping paper somehow in my spreads. All right, so there's that wrapping paper there. And then I use some gold cardstock for... Um, you know, the other wrapping paper there. Then I did some embossing on this one. And so the embossing folder that I used there was another embossing folder I had in my stash. And here is that embossing folder that I used there. It is a Doris embossing folder. And then the name of this one is called Snowflake. Oh, then <laughs> the embossing that you see in the background there was this embossing folder. Here it go. And I'm not even sure the name of this one. Um, it's kind of rubbed off and I just had it stored in my bin, but I used this one for the background. All right, and so you can see all of the embossing on there. It is so, so pretty. Um, if you look on the back, here is that embossing a little bit better. I am really trying to use my embossing folders whenever I create a card because, again, it can just add a little bit more, um, you know, creativity to your cards if you just use your embossing folders. And then what I did was I stamped wrapping up the year with wishes of love and good cheer. And I used um, some embossing um, powder. I used this super fine um, detail clear embossing powder. 
And what I like about this is that it made this card look very matte and I love how that looked. And so um, I did, you know, just do the sewing spool that, there. This um, die has lots of, you know, additional pieces that you can add like a tape dispenser, a yarn and just some additional tags. I didn't add a lot of that because I decided to do a very small size card, uh, but you could definitely um, use all of, you know, the uh, accessories in that um, die set. All right, guys. So if you stayed to the end of this video, I also have a giveaway. Now, if you are like me, <laughs> I'm sure sometimes you're not paying attention when you are checking out when you are actually, you know, purchasing things. And so I actually bought two of those dies. See there, I bought two of those dies. It hasn't been used at all. It's still in the packaging there. And so I will be giving away um, this die. And so um, to win this die, all you need to do, A, of course, is be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And then, if you would, below, if you would just leave a uh, comment below stating what um, your favorite uh, part of Christmas is in the uh, comment section below. And then you would be entered into the giveaway. Um, once um, I select a giveaway winner, I will come back and I will announce it on my channel within a week. And so um, you'll have to kind of be looking out um, for the winner. And I'm super excited to be able to just give a little bit uh, of cheer um, to someone. So thanks guys so much for um, stopping by my channel today. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love if you would take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on your bell notifications so that you will not miss any of my uploads. I am also on Instagram. You can follow me over at Markeisha Turner 7 And guys, I will talk to you in my next crafty video.